I've taken one of the Novas apart before, and they're not particularly easy to take apart. You, the one I had, I pretty much ruined getting it apart. Because uh, what they've done, Geek Vape has actually glued the whole sled in, uh, which makes it, yeah, you know, obviously more difficult to get apart than just screws. And I know under this, this little trim piece here is a, is a piece of metal that comes off, also glued. Now if I'm careful with this, I might be able to get that off without damaging it too much. But also the whole sled is glued into the shell. First time around, I actually took this resin off and broke it in the process because it's also glued onto the same, you know, main shell part, I guess you'd call it. So what I'm going to do is get this part off, get the screws out. I, I don't know why they bother putting screws in since it's just glued in anyway. But we'll, we'll get that part off, we'll get the screws out. I'll probably go and heat it up. I think I'll put it in front of the heater for a little while, just see if I can kind of use the ribbon to, to just pull it out. Um, hopefully I can see what's going on and not destroy it in the process. So just took out the screws in the four corners there. They are T6 Torx. What I did then was put put this side of the mod in front of a fan heater just to give it some heat and get that glue to release. Then luckily we've got the battery ribbon there. So I, I basically was just heating it. I was holding it with a towel just because the, the alloy gets pretty hot and um, just keeping sort of constant pressure on it till it started to, to peel off. And don't forget to take off the 510 because that will stop the top from being able to pull out. Okay, we'll try again with this um, Geek Vape Nova uh, failure. So I recorded a video about this particular device some months ago and um, I kind of stuffed up the video. It was auto-focusing and it was doing all sorts of dumb stuff and just impossible to watch. Okay, so I just want to finish this off just in case someone's interested in a Nova that has failed dead on arrival. This one, uh, yep, dead straight out of the box. Um, I tested this before I took it apart, made sure. Um, yep, and, and just completely unresponsive. So what had happened with this one is this little diode right here, it's a bit hard to see, but this little guy right here had completely fried. Um, it looked like it had been soldered badly, but it actually had a big crack through it, and the whole device had just lifted up off the board. Um, so, uh, yeah, it wasn't soldered badly, it was, was just fried. Um, having a look around the board, I found a lot of little solder balls. And so what they normally do is they will clean the board after it's done. Um, they'll clean any sort of flux and other stuff off the board, little bits of solder. Um, and... If you're trying to cut corners or trying to save some money, uh, you basically you just don't do that step. So it, it, it just saves time and money. And uh, if it's if it's a budget device and they're trying to knock out numbers, they, you know they're looking to they're looking to get rid of stuff that you know anything that can save money and help the bottom line. Which is in the case of these devices, you know I think we all know we're going to see that happen with the cheaper devices because the the prices are so competitive. And, um, and you're getting a lot for the money, really, but that, that's no excuse. So in this case, um, obviously, the solder balls hadn't been cleaned off. The, I found probably seven or eight, I think. And I did find some stuck to the MOSFETs. I found some, uh, where else? On both sides, actually. And I could just pick them off with a, with a screwdriver, just, just pinging off little bits of solder all over the place. So this was a particularly bad one. So the theory, just to round that up, was that a piece of solder left over from the soldering process that hadn't been cleaned off was stuck somewhere it shouldn't have been. It's shorted the board or drawn a lot more current through the circuit that this diode is in. And the diode was just the first thing to pop. Um, now, I did replace this one. So that diode there is another one. I nicked off another board, soldered back on. And um, there was still no action out of the board, so it's still dead. It's it's killed something else. Um, it's kind of not worth not worth it for me to go through and try and figure out why. And it's it's really hard to diagnose these little boards, just because connections are hard to get onto, hard to test, and you can't see the tracks or what's going where. And it, it's just generally a nightmare. Um, so this one is cooked. This board not worth using. Um, I did notice 
the Geek Fape Nova was on special for quite a while, like $20. Um, one of the US sites, $20. You know, we'll buy you one of these. And that's really, really cheap. And I'm just wondering if um, if they made way too many or they thought the device was getting super popular and they had to ramp up production and, and rush it through and uh, maybe omit the cleaning steps that they might have otherwise done just to get the numbers through and um, and then maybe they didn't sell quite as many as they're, they're expecting and you know dropped the price to move them on that's just a complete guess but um could be something like that i think so yeah i mean it's same same principle as always if you buy a device and it goes up in smoke when you first use it don't muck around with it just get it get it back to the supplier whoever you bought it from talk to them straight away if it's dead on arrival, you generally have better better luck with your warranty than if it was a month or two down the track. Um, there's not much they can say against you or they can't really blame you when you literally took it out of the box, put batteries in it, and it never worked straight away. Um, so I'm not saying that they like to blame people or, you know, shed the blame onto the customer, but... You know they kind of they they ask the question because people do abuse them they get filled full of liquid and dropped and yeah generally abused so you know if you have a problem straight out of the box call them straight away whoever you bought it from contact them straight away dead on arrival make sure you say took it out of the box put batteries in it puff of smoke came out or whatever and uh never worked so that's that's the way you're most likely to get a you know get it refunded it just sucks buying a new device and you go to use it you're excited to use it it's a new shiny device and um and it's dead so it kind of sucks but in this case it does pose a bit of a um a bit of a mark against geek vape i guess that they they you know in the case of this board they definitely didn't do that step of cleaning and making sure that, that they remove the solder balls from the board so um whoever they're buying the board off rmy chip whoever that is um did not do that step and there will be others for sure out there probably in use or others that have failed from brand new there will be others out there that people are using that have got bits of solder stuck on the board that shouldn't be there now the problem is those devices if you if you were to drop it or like even give it a, a gentle bump onto the table and one of these solder balls comes loose and it wanders down somewhere across the board and shorts out some components um, could be dangerous could fry your board um, it's just not good news in general now you can see how small these pins are it doesn't take much to short across them like have a look at the screwdriver tip is that's a, a very very small screwdriver tip probably a zero zero or something like that compared to these pins you know it's yeah the pins are tiny even compared to this tiny screwdriver so it does not take much for one of those balls to short something out along here and um yeah that kind of sucks because uh that's, that's a question mark on their reliability and and how well they're making boards but um yeah that's about all i've got to show you there's, there's yeah that's about all there is to it so i'd probably i wouldn't necessarily say think twice about buying a nova but it's just something to keep in mind that that's that's what I've found. They might not all be like that, or there might be a lot with solder balls left on the boards, and they could be all sketchy. That's how it goes. All right, I hope someone found it interesting. Thanks. <laughs> See ya.